Hey, what's going on team? Getting our day started out right. Getting our exercise in. Welcome to today's daily sprint. So we're talking about five personality traits to look for in relationships. So we just talked about relationships a few episodes ago about alliance versus fusion. Definitely check that out. So now we're talking about five personality traits to know and understand and create some awareness for you. So number one is gonna be openness to experience. So they found that the more open you are to experience, new experience, Experiences, the more you're going to be attractive to other people, whether that's in business or relationships or just relationships in, in general, because that's all business is, is a collection of relationships. Uh, number two would be conscientiousness. Conscientiousness is more like emotional intelligence. That's like not like cracking a joke at a funeral. I mean, that's kind of a weird, a, a far-fetched example, but some people just aren't very emotionally intelligent. They can't perceive the thoughts and feelings, or not the thoughts, but the feelings or the vibe of other people. So that would be conscientiousness or emotional intelligence. Number three would be extra version, okay? So just your ability to adapt in social environments and not go kind of stand in the corner and be recluse. And then the two that, they have, that behaviorists have found make kind of the biggest impact would be agreeableness. So agreeableness would be like not not trying to start an argument every every time that someone disagrees with you or not going like all in on, on something that maybe maybe even you're passionate about it but it's just not because your emotional intelligence it's not the time or the place to have the argument so you just choose to keep your mouth shut as opposed to um, having that argument or you might just choose to agree with the three percent of someone's conversation and filter out the 97 percent that you don't agree with so agreeableness tends to be a really big driver of relationships and it's also one of the top two important lastly would be neuroticism so neuroticism is if you know anyone that's kind of really tense moody they tend to be prone to sadness they're big blamers they'll ask you for advice and you'll you'll ask them two or three questions and then you won't hear from them uh, so uh, neuro uh, people with um, high degrees of neuroticism they tend to also really really struggle with just having bad luck and you might know some of these people and you're like man man they just can't win in life what is going on and then you kind of get to know them and you're like oh I see. So they really tend to repel people because they kind of have that chicken little. So again, openness to experience, conscientiousness or emotional intelligence, extraversion, neuroticism, and agreeableness. So, hey, let me know which one that kind of resonates the best for you. Like, hey, I'm pretty agreeable, but I struggle with extraversion or I struggle with conscientiousness. Let me know in the comments which of these five um, you, tends to resonate well for you and which ones you think you might need to be more aware of and agree with. Awesome. You guys have a great growth driven rest of your day.